Hi, I'm Richard Passano. I'm going to teach you how to use some of the appliances here in the kitchen. We're going to show you how to use the dishwasher now. And the first thing we do when we're going to be needing the dishwasher is pull this down so you can see what you got and turn your switch on. And that turns on your hot water heater. You can leave that set and leave that set for about a half an hour. So you want to do that first when you're getting set up for your party. After, after a certain amount of time goes by, then you can come back here and hit this, which is the fill. you got to pre-fill it with water. And you fill it up until the water gets level in the tray below us. look at it and see the water in the tray, you know that it's okay. If the water is, runs out on you, that means somebody didn't put the filter back in right. And then, then, it, then it doesn't have any water in it to get started. Now, the soap and everything that, that the machine needs is all in pre-measured amount so you don't have to add soap or sterilizer or any other kind of fluid in here. <clears throat> when you're ready to run the machine, all you got you should always pre-run it once or twice to get it hot. That means it'll go by itself. In the meantime you can get your dishes ready to do this. The dishes are collected and they still become and these trade things right here. They're brought back to the kitchen, and then you un unload your kitchen area. All the dishes that are brought back, all the food is scraped off here. And, and all the dishes get rinsed before they go through the washer because the washer does not handle heavy, heavy garbage or anything like that. After the heavy food is scraped, you rinse them off right here and then put them in the racks. The cups just set right in and then glasses. Now silverware has got a special container for it which we usually keep on the shelf right here. Just grab yourself an empty one. And put the dishes, the, all the silverware in here. And then they go in the flat tray. Now just make sure when you put your, your silverware and, and your china in the hair that they're standing upright. And cups go upside down because they always clean better upside down. Same thing with glasses in there. And when, when you're ready to move it through, slide the tray into the machine. And you're ready to go. It usually takes about 65 to 75 seconds per load. Of course, while the machine is going, Dishwashers over here get prepared the next tray to go in. Just a little short reminder that once the machine gets up to full temperature, the dishes are very hot. Once the machine stops, raise the doors. Carefully pull the tray out all the way and let it set while you're doing the next load of dishes. And by then it'll be cooled off enough to where you can handle that. If you grab that cup or uh, something else that's breakable, you might find it a little hot and you might want to drop it. So just leave it set for uh, maybe a minute and that'll let it cool down enough to where you can handle it 
and dry a little bit more if you need to. Okay, you'll find that the plastic, the plastic containers, like your glasses, you want to turn them right side up, and just leave them standing there for a little bit, and then they'll finish drying. Uh, now we're pretty much done with our dishes here. We're going to ready to shut the machine off. Make sure that your switch is in the off position, like that, and you got your machine shut off. Then when you get, get that done, you want to drain the water that's inside of here. Now you can reach inside, but you might get a wet hand, so it's much easier to just see this little rod right here that's hooked to that drain thing. All you got to do is lift it up and hold it, and the water will drain out that's in there. And just leave it fall back down and you're all set to go and you don't have to pull that thing out. Now, what we do, we do next is we pull this little tray thing out and see if there's any food collected in here. And if there is, just dump it in the trash bucket, spray it off, and put it back in here. That's done. And the same thing with this basket here. There's naturally going to be some kind of food particles in here. We'll take this right out and put that also in the trash thing and put it back here. If there's any little food particles left inside, you can spray the tub down inside. Turn on the little, whatchamacall, our disposal here, and let it clear out, and then shut it back off, of course. Shut your water off. Make sure that everything is clear. Put this back where it belongs. And put the trays back in our place. And all the trays that were used to collect your food, with your, your dishes off from your party, make sure they're all cleaned off, sprayed, and they go back here. In the cart that you put them on to collect them, push the cart back in its place so that everything is back where it came from. Just like that. When we, when we get all of that finished, just to clean things up nice, we take our little squeegee and get, just rinse the water off of the, the tray surfaces because it does spot like that on all your trays. In and you're out. And of course put it back there where it was and if you want to wash it off or rinse it off you there's extra towels and stuff in these drawers right here gloves for handling hot food and towels for whatever you need to dry